One of the fun things of getting out of the uh, painting studio and into a metal or machine shop like this where I can do the larger scale public works um, is you've got a lot of different tools at your disposal that can help you, um, you know, create a piece. As an artist, um, what you continually search for is a way to expand into different medias, to create a, a, a body of work that is not limited to drawing or painting or sculpture, it's, it's to carry what you do, your look, your style, your uh, particular brand, let's say, into um, all of those different medias, paintings, sculpture, you know, pencil drawings, um, it could be anything. I taught myself to draw from a book of Picasso etchings, so that's where I created the line figures that I do from that reference point. The, the, the wire sculptures came from working for my dad, uh, who was a contractor, and my job was to tie the foundation rebar to the mesh when they poured a slab. So I was working with a big roll of what they call stovepipe wire, and I learned to doodle with that. And again, that's where I got the concept that that was a physical line that I could turn into a three-dimensional drawing. So one of the things that I wanted to do as an artist was uh, kind of come out of the studio, come out of the gallery, and bring the pieces to a larger audience through installations of public art. The art comes from the same place no matter the physicality and the size. In my art, it's line. And um, some of the work that we created today um, is made out of 5 8 inch steel rod and 20 foot lengths. And some of these things take literally 8 to 12 hours of working straight through with, you know, um, you know just the pegs that I use to put into the big table to do the bending of that rod. Those things weigh about 20 pounds a piece, so you gotta move those with one hand and hold the fire and move the, move the uh, 5 8 inch steel bar at the same time. And at the end of the day, you're you know you're ready for you know a little bit of sit down and just relax. We're using heat and torque to manipulate this steel into to linear shapes that are no longer just straight lines. In other words, if it can be drawn with a pen. Uh, it can be bent and formed and heated and welded and created into a duplicate of that pencil drawing. Once you start pulling the planes of the, of the material around and, and moving it, it changes the dynamic of just being a, a cut-out diagram of the painting into a, almost like a living, breathing entity. It becomes 3D and has a, a totally different feel, a totally different look, and yet it's just a progression from what I'm doing in painting to a physical three-dimensional uh, representation of that in this aluminum, steel, brass, whatever kind of medium that I'm working in here. There's a sensual nature to working with your hands and working with the material that you're, you're forming as you move along. And sometimes the material helps create itself. In other words, the way the wire comes off of the roll, um, you know, will make me think I need to go in a certain direction so they kind of create themselves along the way. Working in this large scale stuff it's not quite the same. You have to physically force this material to uh, you know be bent or manipulated into what you know what I want it to be. So um, you know you're working with a really straight long piece of rod you've got to heat it and you've got to form it and you've got to beat it into submission so to speak. But even in that, there is a sensual nature to it because I'm forming these long sweeping arcs and I'm coming in with these really tight bends. And if we're cutting it out on a, a plasma cutter or the water jet machine, we're still getting those sweeping lines and we're able to, to nuance those figures out of the metal. Uh, and, and not only do you get a sensual feeling when you look at it because you see the line in the form of a human or you know a nude, you actually get to touch it and you get to run your hand over that smooth metal and you know there's a little bit more interaction that goes into this type of thing. There's a certain amount of, of um, enjoyment that you get from knowing what it took to execute it, the entire process from inception going through any kind of um, hurdles for us engineering and political and you know installation logistics uh, to seeing it um, installed, you know, it, it's, it's an accomplishment.